Series 6 of Master League Story Mode. So it pleases me to say that at least half of the city of Campinas are very, very pleased at the moment. We're on a streak of three wins, and although Zico isn't really showing it there in the top left-hand corner of our picture, he's got to be pleased as well. He made some uh, bold, some brave managerial decisions in the last episode, and it paid off. We played the kids, and it worked. It really worked. So I'm not sure, really, what our best team is at the moment, which is sort of good, sort of bad. Uh, we made some changes. They worked. Uh, Marlison came in, looked really, really good. I mean, he is on a dramatic improvement, and that will help any player of any quality. But who starts over him and Big Rod? You can't play them both. I think we can pretty safely say that. That's simply not going to work in this formation. And in this episode, we start with a potentially difficult game as we invite third place America Mini Aero. They've started the season really well. They're a two-star rated side, and they're going to be joining us at the Majestoso to start this episode off. And then only three days later, we go up against 15th place Villanova, and that's away from home. So we've got a busy schedule here. So, you know, the squad rotation that we may see now that we don't 100% know what our best 11 is could actually be a good thing. So let's just get into it. So America Miniero are a big side. There's no doubt about that. And they were relegated last season, and they finished 17th in Serie A. So they should have some really good players. I certainly recognise Michel Bastos, their captain. Uh, he's played all over Europe. He played at Lille, played at Lyon, Schalke. He was on loan at Roma. He's played at Sao Paulo in, uh, in the Brazilian league. So he has been just about everywhere and he's made 10 appearances for the national side. As I said, a team that have only recently been in Serie A. So they've got some good players, although they do have a 61 rated centre back and a 65 rated goalkeeper. There's a bit of a mix in here. Bastos, uh, Janino, Z Ricardo, there's some there's some really good players in here, so we need to be wary. Let's take a look at our side. How are we lining up today? Well, I think after the last performance, we probably should start Marlison again. Oh, to leave Brodge on the bench. I mean we're thinking of the future here. Is Marlison the future? I don't know. He's 66 rated now. Um, I don't know how his development is actually going with this dramatic improvement. Could maybe check that actually before we get into this. So we've actually not been playing him a huge amount. Uh, expected progress is there, actual progress is slightly ahead of that. Effective training and team role, so yeah, I mean he was below expected progress for a while. It's not been developing as maybe we would have liked. Uh, do, we, do we start him? It's, it's a difficult decision. I think we've just got to work on the assumption at the moment that him on a blue arrow is probably more effective than Broj. So we're going with that. The other question is, do we start Oliveira? Scored a great goal to uh, finish off our last win. I think with Real on a downward arrow, we are going to bring Oliveira back in. Eduardo will start today instead of Real. That's a fairly easy choice. Uh, other decisions to be made are between Abner, who uh, looked really good when we've played him. Um, should he start ahead of Diego Renan, who's significantly higher rated than him? Let's just compare the two. So everything in terms of dribbling, ball control, Diego Renan's the better player. They're actually fairly similar at crossing. Uh, Abner's got goal scoring in him though, which is interesting. He's got much higher kicking power. He's quite a lot quicker as well. And he's stronger. <sighs> but defensively, yeah, he's not quite up to it. I mean, Diego Renan is probably the one that we should be starting. And on a green arrow today, I think we'll leave him in. Everyone else on greens at the back, we leave them as it is. Um, I think the two central midfielders are maybe the areas that we need to improve in the window. If we can bring in one good loan or free transfer, that's probably where we should do it. Takuma Rosano has been quietly doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, can you quietly do nothing? Maybe loudly doing nothing. Everyone's sort of aware that he's not performing as we'd like, but I think he keeps his spot in the side just purely because there's no one else who can really play out there properly. Uh, right, I think that will probably cover it. Definitely want to make sure we're marking their wide players, and that should do it. Right, let's go. So we're back again at the Majestoso, the Moises Lucarelli here in the heart of Campinas. And uh, interesting fact about the Estadio Moises Lucarelli, although it only has a capacity of 19,000 officially, the uh, highest official attendance for a match at the Majestoso, the Majestic Stadium, is 34,985. I don't quite know where they squeezed in that extra 15 or 16,000 or whatever it is, but you can only imagine that the atmosphere must have been just as it looks like here, but a lot more. I mean, it must have been absolutely crazy. So, Marlison, Oliveira retain their spots in the side after their great performances in the last game. Zico obviously deciding that youth is the policy. Can they repay his kindness once again? Can we get our fourth win in a row? Well, this is going to be a huge test against a very, very good side. Let's go. 
Oh, Igor wins it back. And Asano's onside here. Takuma Asano hits it. Oh, and Marlison's there. Really good opportunity for Asano. Pouncing on the mistake from the Monero player. But as we've seen probably a few too many times, he's not that confident in one-on-one -on -one finishing situations. Should have been 1-0 there. Arnaldo now. That's a lovely ball into Eduardo. He's got options ahead of him. One of them is Marilison. Eduardo cuts inside. The overlapping run is there from Diego Renan. He just paused a little bit. He should be able to get this into the box. Oh, he skips away from his man. Low ball in. Oliveira's there. Yeah. Good in there. And for his second consecutive game, the young attacking midfielder pops up in the right spot. And that is a smart finish. And some really, really good play from Diego Renan down that left-hand side. That move used to be absolutely foolproof in PES 19. The little winger cutting down the side, dummy pass back inside of the man. It very rarely works in this, but Diego Renan pulled it off there. And it gave him a great opportunity to put a hard, low ball into the box. So this move here would work very, very often in the last PES. Doesn't work so well now, but that's a great cross and a lovely finish from a man full of confidence. Not a boy, a man. He's stepping up on the biggest stage. The Ponte Preta youth prospect. He's actually made a move away in real life. This is one of the quirks of the signings here. But he's in this reality, he has stayed. And thank God for that. And uh, as Real now this time, rather than Eduardo, watches from the bench, the young upstart gets another goal and perhaps cements his place in this team permanently with that one. Eduardo into Oliveira. Oh, lovely running from him. Still Oliveira gets the shot off. That's well wide, but he just looks so dangerous on the ball. A real spark of energy through the centre there. He's just got the pace that we need in these positions. We said that's what we want. We need a Zico-like player. And, uh, well, he's certainly looking like him at the moment. He's got pace. He's got goal scoring. That's what we need. Eduardo just about finds Igor. Now to Kuma Asano. All through looking for Marilison. Battling with Cubas. Oh my god, the goalkeeper there reacted very well to being put in a horrible position by his defender. We'll get it back here. Oh, Oliveira, shut up. That's ridiculous. Marilison, Eduardo. Can he find him? Oh, <laughs> we've got a real treasure on our hands here, I think. And that was almost beautiful. Renan now into Asano. Fouled there, though. Fouled in the box. He's... What's he doing? It's just a talking to here from the Monero player. Sano cuts back in. Is that a foul on the edge of the box? I guess it is. So, chance here for us to double our lead with only 30 seconds left in this half. We've not had much luck from set pieces. It's going to be Eduardo, though. Can he get it up and over? He can get it over, but he can't get it back down. It's not far away. We're still finding our range a bit with the free kicks. That's fine, though. And there we are. Well, another good half of football here as we look to make it four wins in a row. And it's that boy, Oliveira, with a 23rd minute goal. A tap in, but he's looked good all game. He's looked exciting. He's looked to be probably the most skillful player on the pitch amongst some pretty good players on display today. And we've kept Monero at arm's length, exactly what we wanted to do. Zika will be very pleased, and I think his uh, words of advice will be more of the same. Thank you very much. So not even 70 minutes on the clock here. We're making the left and right back change that is just necessary with this overlapping fullback style. It really takes it out of them, but being able to bring on Abner, a player who we probably just want to be playing anyway, is uh, always good. And he wins it back straight away there. Great work, and he'll find Oliveira. Oliveira now will look to use Abner again. Loads of space for him. He can get his head up. Look for Marilison with the overhead kick. <laughs> Anything Rog can do, Mary can do better. Anything Rog can do, have a look at me. And that is something quite special. And once again, it's Marilison and Oliveira on the score sheet. And uh, that is almost identical to the Roger goal in the last episode. He's just... He's just, made, he's, just, he's just putting down a marker. Putting down a marker. And it is Abner, a.k.a. the Black Roberto Carlos. And he's got an assist today. I would love to see Abner get a goal in this one. Just to cap it off, our three players, all under 22 years old, who could well be the future of this club. Three players that we'd probably discounted when we looked at uh, building this side. And uh, that was probably a mistake. 
So one final change here for Zico, and there they are. The Pontipratanos raise as one from their seats to clap off this young man who is in great, great form. He's put in a real shift today. He's got his goal. He's looked excellent. He's looked by far and away our most exciting player this season in the only short amount of minutes he's had so far. And Zico replaces him on his own to let him take in the ovation from the crowd. And hopefully now, with only 15 minutes left to go, we can just hang on here. Bit of danger here, but Vargas, the substitute, wins it back really well. Into Luis Carlos. Now Igor with space to run into. He's got a couple of options here. One of them is Vargas. And that's a very clever ball. Vargas! <laughs> yes, he's just on the pitch. And he scored the winner here shortly. And what a ball that was from Igor. He's been quietly doing his business, Igor. He's one of those players you won't see much of in the highlights. But he generally puts in at least a 7 out of 10. And uh, he's got a great engine on him. Even coming into the 80th minute here. He was able to explode through the centre. And look at this ball. I think he registered the fresh legs of Matthias Vargas. And he shrugged off his man and finished well to get his first goal in the league this season. And what a performance this has been. Oh, Abner. Calm, cool and collected there. And now Vargas will look for him again. What a ball and what a touch there from Abner. Into the box now. <laughs> we want a goal for him. We want a goal. We probably could have pulled that back. But we really would like to see him score. And what a first touch that is. He's full of confidence here. I was hoping for the Roberto Carlos outside of the boot. Uh, top right-hand corner curler wasn't to be. But we uh, made the keeper make a save. We keep the pressure on here with seven minutes left. And there we have it. What a win that is. What a win. And once again, it's Oliveira and Madison who are making uh, big, big arguments for their permanent inclusion in our starting eleven. We've just got to be very pleased with that. The home fans, I'm sure, will be. It's a dominant performance against a recent Serie A side with some really, really good players in there. And we just made them look amateur at best. We played some great football, scored some great goals, another overhead kick, and a man-of-the-match performance from Marilson. We're doing our best to... Uh, Make sure that dramatic improvement really does bring his stats up as much as possible. Will he be a long-term option? I don't know. But he's certainly looking good now. But Oliveira, phew, I think he could be really good. And uh, Abner off the bench grabs a seven, as does Vargas, who came on and scored. We just look, it, it suddenly looks like we've got great strength and depth. And it certainly didn't feel that way only a few games ago. What a difference a small change in tactics and personnel can make to this side. And a 3-0 win, a convincing one. Our first convincing win of the season, always good. And it sees us move up into second place. We're on the same goal difference as Coritiba. It's the only side we've lost to this season as well. And uh, yeah, we're, we're actually... We've conceded the least goals as well, which is pretty impressive. So, as I said, only three days later, we could be really tested here in terms of personnel. But we're in the middle of a four-win streak at the moment, and we'd really love to keep that going. So we do have some messages in. Uh, Luis Carlos's role has changed. That's it. That's all we've got. So I think for now, uh, I know there's been a few suggestions on scouting, but I'm just going to get this done anyway. But I think we need a right winger, definitely. And we're going to go for still developing there. And we are going to ignore the budget, because it may well be a loan deal. Attacking mid as well, where well, we play with two, so we probably should continue to look for that. We'll just slightly change that by doing ignore. And then we're going to look in Argentina. I think that's still within the rules. We're going to look for a central midfielder. Uh, Argentinian central midfielder. We're going to look for a utility player, just for a change, and we're going to ignore that. Just switch it up. Let me know what you think of those choices. Let's get into the second game of the episode. As we go up against Villanova, who hail from the city of Guyana, who are from the state of Goya sort of about 10 hours north of Campinas, uh, sort of inland a bit. It's weird that a lot of the teams seem to be near the coast or on the coast, but this is a team a little bit further inland. Uh, they've never played in Serie A. They actually finished seventh last season in Serie B. So they had a decent season, but still a fair way from the promotion spots. And they, much like Hull City, are known as the Tigers. So it's the Tigers versus the Gorillas. I would go with, well, not the Gorillas, the Macaca, but it's often a Gorilla. I think I would probably back a gorilla. That's an interesting question. Answers in the comments. Who would win between a gorilla and a tiger? I'm going to go with the. Uh, I'm going to go with the gorilla, and hopefully that plays out as well in this game. So Marlison, of course, will start, even though he is tired. Uh, with Roger on a sideways arrow, we can always bring on Rog. God, how the mighty have fallen. We expected him to play every game, um, but we're just enjoying Marlison. Let's take a look 
I mean, he's got pace. That's certainly something that he does have over Broge. And uh, 71 finishing as well. But other than that, he doesn't have a huge amount more. He's got first time shot. He doesn't have acrobatic finish. So I don't know how he pulled off that bicycle kick. But yeah, he will start until his dramatic improvement ends. And then we'll make a decision on that. Uh, Tiago Real can come back in. Uh, unfortunately, Oliveira tired and on a downward arrow. That might be a stretch too far to start him. Uh, Vargas played quite well when he came on. He's a little bit more mobile than Eduardo, who is also on a downward arrow. So we're going to start Vargas today. Um, does that improve our team spirit? No, it doesn't do anything. Does that? Hang on. Does it? No. He's on a blue arrow, so he definitely starts. <sighs> Some tired centre-backs. We'll give Renan Fonseca his first start of the season. He is a good, solid centre-back, um, if a little bit slow, a little bit cumbersome. But he's a, yeah, he's a pretty good defender, at least. And I think with Diego Renan on a sideways arrow, we could bring in Abner. It takes us down. We're up to 63 team spirit with uh, Diego Renan. So I think we'll leave that as it is, however good Abner has been. But we've got Abner and Oliveira on the bench today. Great options. Real shame to uh, bench Oliveira. He was excellent. Amazing run, incisive run, through passing. He looked good with all of that. He's great on the ball. He's quick enough as well. 67 finishing, maybe a slight disadvantage to him, but didn't hasn't stopped him scoring in his last two. If it wasn't for the downward arrow, I definitely would start him. That's a tough choice to make for Zico, but he's happy to rotate this side a bit, and it seems to be working okay. Not too much disharmony in the squad. Quick look at Villanova. Uh, all 60 rated, except for their goalkeeper, who's 59. It's got to surely be a win. Let's go. So we've been doing really, really well at home in front of the Pontipatanos. But now this is a fairly long trip as well. It's a big variation in the travel that is needed in Serie B. Can we continue this? Can we make it five wins in a row here in this hostile away stadium? We've looked excellent. There have been some changes today from the side that has looked so dominant in the last two games. Can we still get a win? Oh, Asano just about gets to that. Now Arnaldo. Into the Kuma Asano, lovely ball. Oh, does well. <laughs> does really well to get the shot off as well. He has failed to impress. I'm not really sure how the fans would be feeling about him right now. We expected him to be the bright spark. And he has looked good in patches, and that's not a bad effort as well. And a great deal of pressure from the defender. Just want to see a few more goals from you, Takuma. That's all we want. Real with the corner here into a dangerous area. Marilison will jump from it. <sighs> The looping header, fairly easy for the keeper in the end. He got a lovely ball into Asano. Oh, he's fouled there, surely on the turn. He is, Vargas now into Marilison. Lovely turn from him. Oh, the goals just keep coming. And that is very smart play there from Ponte Preta. And Zico is looking very positive now. Suddenly all his work on the training ground. Suddenly that early season form that we just wish would come back is starting to rear its head. And uh, that man now, is that 3-3 three and three for Marilison? I think it is. And it's quick thinking here. Good turn from Asano. Away from his man, he's fouled. Vargas saw the option of the quick free kick. Lovely first touch, out of his feet. Shot from outside of the box. Beats the keeper, maybe a little softly. But maybe he was caught off guard as well, as the Villanova defender was as well. Great turn, holds off his man. He's just in great form at the moment. It was Carlos, early ball into Marilison. Out to Arnaldo, first time, can't find Asano. Cuts back though, now Real. Vargas, into Marilison, great turn, hits him with the... Oh my word! <laughs> back to goal, front to goal, upside down, in the air, it does not matter. Big Marilison is just putting him away for fun here. And that is incredible, incredible finishing. Dramatic improvement or not, and to hit this on the turn with your weaker foot just powers it past the keeper. Lovely finish, emphatic finishing there from a man who must be sneaking up on the Serie B top goal scoring rankings now. That is four in three from Marilson, and that is a lovely finish as well. Oh, nice work there. Vargas into Renan. Oh, steps away from Rodriguez. Now Diego Renan into the box. We'll cut it back here for Takuma Asano. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Takuma Asano. What a wonderful hit. Do -do 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 -do. 
Takuma Asano, he is far from shit. It means lots of goals till the end of his day. That's nice. That's very nice. A weak foot hit as well on his left. But Diego Renan, oh, we've got so much competition down that left-hand side. It really makes me pleased to know that Abner or Diego Renan, both of them have got their uh, strengths and weaknesses, but both great options. And Renan, as he did in the last game, cutting inside, looking so deadly with the ball at his feet, picks the pass in the first time finish. It's a really, really well taken one. And that's three goals in 34 minutes here. And we're looking dominant. Joseph now. Good play by Motta. Vargas can't get close. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. We've been absolutely in control here. Let's take another look. I don't really think it needs a post-mortem particularly. Is that Fonseca just bounces off him. It is a good finish in the end to beat Ivan for the first time in this game. We've been good to make it to half-time where we so nearly are with the clean sheet. And that is half-time. Gutted to give away the goal in the 45th minute. But pff, can't be unhappy with the performance of our two furthest forward attacking players today. Marilison continues his great goal-scoring form. And Asana with a very well-taken one after great work from our left-back, Diego Renan, who is really, really top quality. And uh, yeah, let's keep it tight. Let's get the win here. Let's make it five wins on the bounce. Let's go top of the table. Igor into Real. Oh, Real, lovely touch. Still Thiago Real will hit this one. Oh, had the chance to find Marison. Probably should have done. But lovely footwork from him. Just takes it past his player here with ease. Oh, that's nice. Number 22, left sprawling. It opened up. You can't be mad at him for having a go. Oh, poor header there. And Real can pounce on that one. Thiago Real. Can he find Takuma Asano here? He can. Asano through. Oh, it's hit the post. Really big chance there to make it for him to grab his second of the game. Did everything right. Just denied by the post. Oh, Eric does well to keep that in. Good pace from him and there's real danger here. Joseph does well. Holds off Fonseca. Oh, Fonseca, you've got to do better there. Oh, this is not how this is meant to go. Let's take another look here. Fonseca, maybe we should have just brought him down. We tried to play it safe. I thought we had the muscle there. That's what looked to be a much smaller attacking player. He's done really well to hold off the centre-back, who has been at fault, you would say, for at least two... Well, there's only been two goals. I would say both the goals, even. Oh, no. This isn't ideal. Do we sit back? Do we go for a fourth? Hmm. An hour gone. I'm not sure. So triple sub here as we look to uh, finish the game off. It's the left and right back replacements as usual. Abner comes on and Oliveira will get a few minutes here. Hopefully he can just get the ball, take control in the midfield. And uh, we've gone a little bit more defensive here. So let's just hang on to this one. Let's make it five in a row. Flighted ball in. Shouldn't be a problem for Bruno Avini and it isn't. But we can't get to it. And the danger keeps coming here from Villanova. Oh, Oliveira gets to it. Good work from him. And it's a smart ball into Vargas. Abner bombing on. But Vargas will cut inside. Real chance here. Ah, Marison out to Abner. Just on the pitch here. Abner cuts in. Look for the ball into Marison. Oh, it's got a deflection. Asano can keep it alive. Ball is on to Abner. Yes, he gets his goal. <laughs> We've wanted him to score so badly in the last few games and finally he gets it. Still bombing on. We haven't taken off attacking wing backs. Even though we've gone slightly more defensive, we still need the width from our left and right back. And Abner, well, if only we could play him and uh, Diego Renan at the same time. We've got a bit of a problem there. We can't. But uh, Abner certainly just as exciting, if not more exciting than Diego Renan and it's a bit messy here the keeper probably could have dived on that but he wasn't sure Asano with an easy assist and uh, Abner gets his first goal of the season very very pleased with that Just couldn't get more simple Abner as we know has got good finishing stats for a young left back didn't need him there really he was in the right place at the right time to kill this game off we brought him on to kill it off uh, we thought defensively but he's got the goal that should make it impossible now Eric now, that's a good ball in, Monero. And there we are, another great win and another selection of good goals as well. Morales in there, Asano, Abner, 
all the players we wanted to see scoring getting on the score sheet today. That makes it five wins in a row. We did not see this coming. We had a horrible run of form, but we just look like scoring and scoring and scoring at the moment. And great performances all over the pitch. Um, Diego Renan obviously looking good. Avini only a 5.5 today. It's maybe a little harsh. Uh, Vargas looked great coming in. He was on a blue. That always helps. Asano took his goal well. Marilson obviously took everything really well. Abner on for the goal. I'm just so pleased for the lads. We've worked hard in pre-season. It's starting to pay off now. Curitiba get a win against America Monero. So that keeps them top of the table. We are snapping at their heels now. We've taken a three-point lead over a Cife. That's where we need to stay. That is where we need to stay. We've only lost one game this season. Let's keep that going. So we've got a lot of time still left to play. And um, we've yet to play the uh, the derby as well. Really looking forward to that. Maybe that's in the next episode. I haven't seen Guarani's pop up yet. Uh, no, it's Londrina. They're in the top four. That could be a tough game. But five wins in a row. We've got to be very pleased with. So we are, yep. Yeah. So Londrina, they're fourth. They're pretty good. And then it's Atletico. I think that's Goyanese. They're 13th. We play them. When is our first derby? Not for a while, not till after the transfer window. It's a long season, isn't it? Don't play them until August. As a, a little trip across Campinas to our local rivals. That'll be a big one. If we can keep this winning run going, or this winning form at least, then uh, yeah, we're going to be firing all the cinders by the time we get to that. And uh, yeah, we're full of confidence, playing well, scoring goals. Uh, Roger watching from the bench with a tear in his eye is, is difficult, but you can't deny Marilison. He's looked good. He scored the goals when asked. Surely undroppable now. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in a bit.